dude, you're stinging it up, man. He's getting so frustrated. Brian's so competitive. And anytime he stinks at something, <laughs> that's what happens. I hate this game, it sucks anyways. <laughs> What's going on guys, I am Matthias, and welcome to another 10 strange things we found at the dollar store. Brian went to the dollar store and picked out some of the weirdest things he could find. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna test them and tell you whether it's worth it or to turd it, you know, throw it in that turd basket. While you're here, why don't you click that bell icon to get notified of when I upload videos because I also live stream occasionally 10 minutes before a new video goes live and then I hang out with you for 30 minutes after the video goes live to comment back to all you beautiful folks. So, you better click it so you don't miss it. Woo! What the heck, microfiber hair wrap? Servit in microfiber pour chevendu. That looks like a turban though, doesn't it? The way it's wrapped? I don't really know what a turban looks like that much. <laughs> Dries hair faster than normal towels by absorbing water. How is this any different than a normal one? Just like a normal towel. Place hair on wrap on the back of the head with elastic loop on top. Twist securely, I don't know, like I feel like it'd be easier without this. Insert loop, twist through, okay, I see. Too bad this one's neon, neon orange, dude. Did you purposely get the neon orange one? Of course, dude. Okay, so here we go. I do this, right? And then I twist securely and then I insert, oh, okay, okay, insert. I do this. This is a dollar store product, guys. So I twist it like that and then I take this little loop here, right here, and then I put it on the, all the way back on the, ouch, dude. I don't see if you have, a, especially if you're a girl with a lot of hair. This is small. Yo, what up guys? I just got out of the shower. Need to dry my little hairs off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Microfiber washing instructions. Do not bleach, do not use fabric softener, do not wash with other cotton products. What? Air dry. This is a high maintenance product, let me tell you. A little more high maintenance than it should be for something so simple as this. Massage daily. Massage daily, yeah. Turn it. I don't want it. We turn it. Oh! We got a watch here? I'm confused. What? Why do you make those creepy sounds? It's a mirror watch. Look at my mouth on the screen. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? I didn't know you I gotta say, that's weird. This is weird, Brian. Light me up, try me. Okay, we've yeah. got literally like four buttons on this. Whoa, that's actually kind of an, an intense light. Sporty watch. This is not a sporty watch. <gasps> People that play sports can attest to this, but a sporty watch should not have things sticking out of it. These things that are gonna catch on nubs. These kinds of things will scratch other people when you're like playing sports. So you oh, like, yeah. you can't wear these things. So it's not a sport watch. It's not at all a sport watch. It's no more sport watch than my Apple iWatch. iWatch. Whoa. <laughs> Haven't said that in a long time. Which one do you like better, guys? Can the Apple Watch do this? Oh, that's pretty uh, sporty. I mean, uh, this wouldn't be a bad looking watch if you put like a better band on it. Other than this like purple silicone yeah. band. I think that's why they're calling it a sport watch because it's silicone. I'm interested to see if it cracks. Oh. Oh! oh. Wow, that's kind of cool. Well, the hour hands are on there now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we converted it back into an analog watch, guys. <laughs> Still works. Well, wow, that's a cool looking watch now. I Tell really me you wouldn't wear this one. You see that now? Oh. Most dangerous That's watch. a cool looking watch, dude. Now that's a sport watch when you actually want to win. Ha, I got the point. No, you didn't. Bah! Guys, if you're part of that notification squad, you know, you click that bell icon, make sure you give this video a like right now. Let me know you up in here. Ooh. What the heck is that? Is this a microphone? Is like a shower microphone? Is that what this is, no, dude? Not a shower microphone, just a microphone. Oh. <gasps> that is cool! Okay. There's like a spring in here. Ah! It's like instant reverb, dude. Real time reverb.
I'm just gonna always talk like this from now on. Dude, this is cool. Mike's gonna actually really like this, dude. And it, <laughs> this could be used as a practical effect in actual music videos. Because I don't know this. About that. No, not music videos, sorry, actual songs. <laughs> dude, I'm like in the shower right now with the shower cap. I'm like, la la la. Now we dissect this bad boy. That's how they made it. They, they attached the, literally the bottom of a cup, or you know the little things that you get at like the Chinese restaurants to take home your soy sauce? That's <laughs> literally what they did. Yeah. What? Literally, actually a cup, and then they just punctured a hole in it. That was absolute gibberish. I'm not literally mocking any culture. That was just gibberish. Like, this is so cool. Too bad I destroyed it. Yeah. That was a worth it, dude. A dollar for that, bro? I'd have paid five bucks for that. All right, I gotta take this thing off, dude. Oh! Frosted cookies and cream. Toast and pop-ups. Do they have Oreo versions of Pop-Tarts? They do? I feel like I've never had that. I feel like this is gonna be good. I th I'm very excited for this. You gotta unwrap it first before you I wanted to sniff, bro. I wanted to aggressively sniff. Ooh. Ooh. These are like, That's whoa, these lot. are like, I don't know. I've never gotten a Pop-Tart as neat as this. Like all the Pop-Tarts I ever get are like destroyed in the thing. I, toast them, dude. Impressed. I'm impressed with them toast them. Now, toast them, you gotta impress me with how much filling you give me. It's all about that filling for daddy. <whistles> that sounded super weird. <laughs> Mmm. 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 That was a dollar? It was a dollar. For three packs? You want a bite? Nice try. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. You're not gonna share? A little confession. When I was poor, I'd get these all the time. I.E. No money. Oh. When my man and I just got married. I used to get the different, I, get, I used to get the brown sugar cinnamon of these. And I was like, dang, these are just as good if not better than poppies. But I've never had frosted cookies and cream. That's good stuff, dude. I'm always happy when I can find something to add weight to that double chin. Let's just like not move on to the other product, products and just finish that box. No? All right, let's move on. That's worth it. Dude, we, we hitting it home today, dog. <laughs> Dollar store has unshook me. Because <laughs> I'm in a natural perpetual state of shookness. Shook nasty. Jordash men. Our version of Joven Musk. What? Can they do that? Is that allowed? Yeah, they always do it. Like you know, like this is a married. knockoff. Yeah. I, I, I have a confession to make. My dad uses this. He's like, you can't even smell the difference. <laughs> and maybe you can't. Honestly, you probably can't. Cause what is in cologne? It's not anything that's worth forty dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. It's just some some dirt and some flower seasonings or whatever. I'm super technical about it. <laughs> Flower seasoning, guys. <laughs> he does always pick the wrong scent. Sorry, Dad. Wrong Ooh. scent. Roasted. Roasted. Toasted. Lamb boasted. Jordash is not connected in any way with Jovan Musk. I hate musks. I don't like. I like citrus, that's, bright, that's fruity. That's why I got this one musky. I'm like, he's gonna like. Ooh, it. smells like ye old man of old time. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Woohoo! Mama Sita, la cariquita! Muy bien, no! It's not muy bien, I mean. <laughs> You're not gonna try it? No, dude, get that out of here, dude. Don't even open it up again in my office. You will be destroyed. That is a turd it. Turd it. If you wanna see me goof on my family a bit more, make sure you follow me on Instagram where I make fun of my family and tweet them nasty things all the time, like roasting. I roast my family all the time. So go follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Matthias I am or in at Matthias I am. doing Instagram. Whoops. You started off Instagram, then you went off to Twitter. <laughs> okay, guys, just follow me on Instagram and Twitter, okay? Not that hard. At Matthias I am, all right? Links in the description. This item reappears. Now, 
It's called grab a bubble. This is the only item reappearing. And what do you mean? What do you mean reappearing? What do you mean reappearing, dude? Here's what happened. Brian and I filmed a dollar store episode and the footage got ruined and it contained this item. None of the other items I've seen before. I have seen this item. So I'm being honest with you guys, I've seen this. However, I'm really, really sad that that footage was ruined because we made the mistake of using this product in this office. So the idea of this product, watch them swirl, bubble storm. It blows out a bubble storm of bubbles, right? And there are tons of bubbles. We didn't read the instructions like usual. It's, there's a little warning right here. Can I even zoom in? Nope, zooming in enough. May leave residue or stain certain fabrics and surfaces. That was the moment we realized these were not normal bubbles, okay? These bubbles don't pop straight up don't pop. So I started getting real excited and I was just blowing them, blowing them, blowing them and they were just going everywhere, straight up bubble storm. And I was like, this is accurate. And they all settled and they just stayed. And we were like, oh, oh my gosh. It took like 40 minutes to clean it up. Bubbles everywhere, it's, it ruined my pants. It was like all over my computers. And then we lost the footage and I was like, no! So we're gonna go test this actually outside. The actual outdoors this time, not just the other parts of the office. <laughs> what you're supposed to do, evidently, is take off this top and then kind of gook this, ooh, and then just kind of spread it around like that, right? As you can see, this is not a normal, it's like an elixir of like bubbles, right? Very weird. And then you just blow with all might. That's it though. See that bubble storm? <laughs> the bubbles are dissipating so quickly. So when we were in the office, they wouldn't go anywhere. They'd just hover. Oh. Trash it, dude. Trash it. Lady Gaga, for a dollar, dude? A singing toothbrush. Come on, buddy. Oh, that's all gold and weird. Uh, <laughs> listen now. No copyright claims. Stop. Brian, you almost got this video taken down by Gaga herself, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. This toothbrush is straight up something that you'd get at like a Beverly Hills hotel right now, dude. It's like gold and black. I feel like I should like convert this into a car and drive it around, man. It's like, look at this thing. It's like gold and black. It's like, those worthy of brushing your teeth shall have clean teeth. Those unworthy will not. <laughs> It's gold! Why is this toothbrush gold? Why is there a little picture of Gaga herself on there? Hey, Gaga. Gaga. I ain't Gaga over Gaga. Sorry, Goo Goos. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I like the look of it. <laughs> it looks like a swanky toothbrush right now. For a dollar? If you just remove Gaga's face. <laughs> <laughs> staring at me, telling me like, you ain't got good oral hygiene. I'm gonna say turd it, because while Gaga is good, good Gaga, I'm not a fan of Gaga. Luna is. Yeah? Goo goo Gaga. I don't know what the Google means. Maybe it's a different artist I hadn't heard of. You're stretching that. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping frog game. Press the frog and let it jump into the pool. Draw a line to use the starting point. So it's a game at who can get their frogs into the pool, right? Mm -hmm. That is it. That is it. That is it. A little mini team edge challenge right now. <laughs> Red, blue. <laughs> Whoa! My guy won't even get off the ground, bro. Hey! Oh. I did it, dude! Why are you jumping so far? <laughs> This is way more- Oh! Dude, you're stinging it up, man! He's getting so frustrated. Brian's so competitive. And anytime he stinks at something, <laughs> that's what happens. I hate this game! It sucks anyways! <laughs> Let's just go back to eating Pop-Tarts. Yeah, right? This is literally the thinnest, cheapest plastic I've ever seen in my life. Meanwhile, you can get dope Pop-Tarts or a sweet singing microphone. Why would you choose this? Sorry, some things are worth dollars and some things aren't. Turd it. Before we move on to the rest of the video, the next couple products that we have, make sure you subscribe if you're new here because we make videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Let's go with four fingers. <laughs> next item. Whoa, that was a loud clap. That was a good one. 
Joking around. I love the joking. Window cling. Looks real. Decoration. Adherente parfenetre. Apply to any surface. Window cling. Oh look, they gave us instructions on how to cling it to a window. Uh. <laughs> That's clinging too good, dude. Too good of a window cling. Do you think we can get anyone? Doesn't Do you even look real. Doesn't even look remotely real. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see if anyone will be confused by this. I ain't never seen no shiny rock before. You know what I mean? What kind of rock is polished that someone's thrown through a window? They're very conservative, you know, violent person. Like, hey, I'm gonna break your window, but I'm gonna do it with style. <laughs> Mike. Yeah. Can you come look at this for a second? Sure. Was this during a battle universe? Was this during a battle universe video? Broke, dude. You broke the window. Ah, uh, dude, it must have been when I was opening up the. <laughs> At first, I thought I caught him, dude. <laughs> dude, <he> boom! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty cool if we if you were to just smooth out the edges. Maybe. <laughs> turn it. Let's turn it. No good. Next item. Hmm. <laughs> Ew, what? Ew! Gourmet smoked whole oysters. You actually think I'm gonna open this right now, don't you? You think I'm gonna get open, up in there? Open yes, taste no, but then we can see who wants to try it. You think someone's gonna be interested in trying this? Yes, I think so. I'm afraid if I open this up, I'm going to vomit from the smell. This is a legitimate concern right now, okay? You get to smell it first. But then you gotta smell it second. Oh, I'll smell it from a distance, trust me. Do it. I doesn't smell like... Not so bad? It just smells like salt. Oh, it smells so like fish, dude. <laughs> oh. I didn't sniff. <laughs> oh, you. Oh! Ah! Why are the red things in there, dude? Are they bleeding? Or is that just pimentos? Oh my gosh, you really think someone in the office is gonna eat this? There's, I think there's a small you chance. You wanna bet? No, I wouldn't I'll give bet. you three to one odds. I need this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. Okay. Wait, it depends who's here. I buy you lunch. Okay. If one out of five people will try this. Or anybody. If no one tries it, you buy me lunch. I, I will go with those. It's okay. bad, it's terrible odds. Terrible odds, dude. Those are, no, odds are no one's gonna taste it. I need more than that. Chipotle, dude, that's expensive. That's like $12. Okay, but if I buy Chipotle, it's the same thing. It has to, my prize has okay, to be better fine, than fine, your fine, prize. Okay, fine, 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 You just buy me chips, and I buy you all a full meal. You like those odds better? Those are better. Let's go test it out. Do you have the ability, or the want, or the need to try this? That looks like cat food. Oh, geez, I almost spilled. Oh my gosh, dude, there's oil in it. You don't even want to... That Come looks on, like Kevin? cat food. <laughs> no, no, no. Tell them what it is. Don't, don't stack oh, the it's odds. oysters. Oh, I'm good. What I've had oysters. What oysters are those? Canned oysters. Smoked. That oh, smells... Actually, it doesn't smell too bad. No, it doesn't. It smells like cat one? food. No, oh, no, that smells a little Andrew? No. No. What no. the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna <laughs> happen. <laughs> All right, like, dude. No. That's out of three, bro. That's out of three. Mm. Smoked, that smoked food? oyster. <laughs> it's a dog food. Is that dog food? It's smoked oyster. No. You don't have to no, try no. it. No, I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> you got one left, bro. <laughs> Are you willing to try this? Oh, It's oysters. Gosh. You like oysters? Oysters. <sighs> that looks so bad. But it's just oysters. Have you had oysters before? Yeah. But not like this. Not like this. You don't have to try it. That hand is raising, dude. I want to, but I'm probably gonna puke. <laughs> I'm gonna regret it for the rest of the day. No, oh, you lose, Brian. No one tried it. That means he owes me Chipotle chips. Ooh. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> we'll talk later, Bobby. <laughs> Guys, make sure you click this video right there. That was an Amazon, 10 strange things we found at Amazon. Guys, click it, see that little thing in the thumbnail? It's not something weird or dirty. Actually, it is super weird, but it's a farting pen. Click it, it's super hilarious. And we'll, I'll see you over there right when you click it. All right, high five. <laughs>